Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Fang, just Fang, back with our Fangus video. And today, we are covering level 3 of the Pirate 101 Iceberg. Now, uh, we're back, finally, I know. Um, I actually wrote the script like two weeks ago, but I finally got around to recording and talking about it because um, I got out of work two uh, hours early. So, we're going to be covering it. Um, this is where it starts getting kind of crazy, and most of these things I had no clue about. Thank you again, Claude, for providing some information. I also did some of my in independent research. Um, not too much this time, because a lot of it was just the most random stuff. But uh, look out for level four as well, because Clock provided photos for me to use. So that will be really, really cool. Thank you again so much. Appreciate it. But we're going to get straight into the video. Um, but first, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, this is inspired by Wendigoon, his iceberg videos. Super cool guy. Watch that. Watch any of his videos. I'm right. I'm watching his cryptid uh, icebergs right now, and it's so it's so cool. So uh, that's my inspiration. And let's get on to level three. Okay. So first is Nobert Argleston. So this one I actually didn't know about. This was the NPC in the Lyceum in Aquila. Um, I don't remember exactly what wor or like area that is, but obviously in Aquila. Um, and most likely he's related to the Wizard City librarian. I think I wrote it down please i didn't i didn't i didn't <laughs> i didn't write down his name uh picture on the screen right now of uh the wizard city librarian uh because i don't remember his name oh the pillow just went down stay um and he's actually got uh treasure cards laid out in front of him so that's a really cool connection to wiz that it, it's just very cool okay so the next one is desmond argleston which is another uh npc again this is the one i knew about uh, he's in Cool Ranch. I think, like, the main part in Cool Ranch. And he's possibly related to... Oh, I wrote it down. I didn't need that on the screen. That's why you didn't see it, or I maybe still put it on the screen. But Harold Argleston, uh, and he's in Cool Ranch. So, possibly related. Who knows? I mean, the treasure cards makes it seem like it's pretty connected. I mean, we already know the world's connected with the five boxes event, which I don't know when that is on the iceberg. I don't think it's on this one. Nah, we're, we're still waiting, so eventually, hopefully the five boxes event will be on the thing, because I like talking about that, because it's a cool event. Okay, so next is a real short one, it's the Pioneer's Eye Patch, and that's just an eye patch that was given to beta players for playing beta, so one of the beta items, kind of like Booch Beard's bundle, which, uh, I, I know a lot more about that now, apparently it was literally for beta players, and they were going to give it to extra credits people, that's why part one community kind of hates extra credits guys. <sighs> Hope you guys don't hate me, but you know, I'm here, so my bad. <laughs> But anyways, let's continue. So next is concept art. So this is literally every single thing of concept art. This is a very broad category. Uh, unused companions, uh, you know, art. Um, what else do I have? Worlds, areas, just really everything that's just unused and a concept, basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so next is Original Blood Shoals. So apparently they changed it. I remember when, well, I don't remember, but I remember like hearing about the Azteca change, you know, with the whole, that side of the story. But uh, this is kind of connected to how Jonatown was free back in the day, but they made it not like that. Um, the original Blood Shoals changed from a crab fight to the Azteca area where free to play was reworked. So, yeah, really just kind of bad overall. <laughs> okay, next, I didn't even know about this. This is, this is interesting. So, there's this YouTuber called Fairy Queens. I know her. I always see her on Twitter or whatever, you know, just connections. Um, and it's Fairy Queens Ninja Pig Code. So, apparently, in early 2021, um, Fairy Queens was given a bunch of ninja pig codes to hopefully, you know, revive Part 101. That was during the hashtag revive Part 101 type of thing. Um, and whoever, I think I might have the name down, let's see. Uh, yeah, Windigo. So kind of like Windigo. Uh, the person who gave her the codes actually took the rest of them away for some reason. I don't really know much more than that, but it just seems like, why would you take them away if that's the point is to give them out? I don't know, that'd be weird. <laughs> Okay, so El Toro's relationship, um, okay, so this is Clock's words, not mine. I didn't want to do research because it, uh, I didn't really want to be put on a list. No, I'm kidding. Um, he is technically dating his stepsister. I, yeah, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so Malastare and Mushu. Oh, this was so cool. I remember, like... I think just recently when I was questing through Mushu, it's it's the cutscene with the guy where he halfway dies or whatever, but 
um, it's like this 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 sorcerer put a spell on the emperor, and I'm like that happened, that happened because that was actually in pirate or in Wiz. So basically, it's just the puppet show. Um, it was shown that Malastare put Emperor to sleep, just like in Wiz. So that kind of shows, um, you know, the connection, obviously, and how Wiz. This is also related to the Five Boxes event. Wiz takes place canonically before Pirate, and then Pirates after, because you set up for the your Pirate player. Not gonna get too much into that. If we have the Five Boxes on the thing, I would love to explain it. And if we don't, then I'll explain it in a completely different video because it's really, really cool, and I'd love to just deep dive in that. Deep dive. That's what Windagoon does. Never mind. Okay, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> okay, so the next one is a. Uh, not safe for work, <clears throat> um, plunder hunt ads, so, <laughs> this is what I said, I'll just read it off, some sussy ads were being shown when watching ads in plunder hunt, you know, insert, a uh, fire emoji, uh, basically, I, I made a short on this, uh, plunder hunt had some really bad ads, right, when it released, like, some not okay for the demographic that it was advertising to, uh, they fixed it, and now plunder hunt's, plunder hunt's down, yeah, it's February, so Plunder Hunt's gone. Um, bye. So, yeah, it was it was not it was not good. Okay, so the next one is Veteran Day, uh, Veterans Day item, and I think that I they aren't talking about the item that I know because I got the Valor's torch and shield. It's like pretty cool, and it's like got a, there's a banner as well. Um, I literally like the weapon. I still have it. Uh, but apparently in Veterans Day 2018, the Dove Pet was released and that actually has the most health in the entire game so is it the most health pet in the entire game or literally the most health period because then that'd be crazy but the i you're gonna have to tell me in the comments because i'm not 100 percent sure um i should have clarified but i should have done some research to see how many so much health it has um but yeah lots of health I, probably a pretty good pet then i mean i don't really care about pets so <laughs> that's like something i just don't know about and uh, pirate. I wish they'd added the kiosk because whiz pets are very cool, but nope. Okay, I I, do, I don't know what this means. <laughs> I'm just gonna read you this because I don't know what it means, but it's the new ball and chain and scarakeet. So apparently these are the only morph locked pets. I don't know what that means. I have no clue what that means. I don't do pets. If you want to tell me in the comments, feel free. Um, I'll pin you <laughs> because then that would be very helpful. Um, but yeah. They're the only more flock pets. Okay, so the next one is the small Avery's Court. So before of spring 2024, um, Avery's Court was smaller. I think I remember them talking about, like, the expansion, and it basically included Miracle Mitch, um, which is helpful. Um, and I think that's really all it added. It was just slightly smaller, but, you know, Miracle Mitch is always a... He's a cool guy, you know? When it's free Miracle Mitch, that's when you be questing. Because it's, it's great, yeah. Okay, next is 1% Moo Manchu. This is the drop chance of the Moo Manchu boots. Now, I'd like to get a stat on the Captain Blood's jacket because I spent like a good 30,000 crowns and it wasn't just like I bought like a bunch of chests after another because you know they get more expensive. I bought like one or two and then I'd redo the run. It took so long I didn't get it. I didn't get it. And I'd love to see the percent on that too because it's got to be less than that because I did way, 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 way more. But 1% Moo Manchu, that's got to suck because that dungeon's really long as well. So, unfortunate. We need to... We need to get King's Isle to give us new worlds and give us higher drop chances, right? Yeah. Okay, um, this one's kind of obscure. It's called the it's the Dead Companions icon. So apparently, uh, back in the day, a little ghost icon um, was by your health. So, like, think of, like, the little cross icon when your uh, guy's knocked off or knocked out. I don't know. I think it's the cross. Maybe not. Or a plus sign or whatever it is. But now, it, or it used to be the ghost um, where there was, like, a little ghost. Um, and also, I did some research, and before, it used to have this, like, little, I can't really explain it, it would be, it would, oh yeah, it would give them the Z, 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 which I think, it says they're busy now, maybe it's still the same, maybe I'm just blind and don't really look at my companions when they're knocked, but you know, yeah, so they, they've changed icons. Okay, next is one I love. I, I love this. The continuity that you're so close to Wizard 101 is so cool. Marleybone City. So, Marleybone City is in Westminster Skyway. I think that's what it's called, Westminster Skyway. I think so. Um, and you can just see the city of, like, Wizard 101 City while you're just in an active war zone. Another reason why Marleybone's such a good world. You can just see that connection, and you're so close. 
to being able to go to Marleybone City, but you can't, obviously, because you're not in Wizard, and it sucks, because that would be so cool, and, you know, you're, like, level 50 when they're, like, level 30, and then you can just, like, stab them, stabbing Wizards, because Pirate 101 is the better game. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've played a lot of Wizard 101 recently. It's pretty fun. It's just very repetitive. I still like Pirate 101 better, and I think I always will, because it's just a good game. Yeah. Okay, next is Serena. <sighs> How do you say this? Guterres. Um, basically, if you didn't know, in Grizzleheim in Wiz, it's one of the Jonas brothers, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and Selena Gomez, they're just in there for some reason. And they're like, check out my new song in Wizard 101. And it's like a 2013 commercial, and it's awesome. But this is a Part 101. So basically, Part 101, there is the same model as Wizard 101, I think. Or maybe it's like kind of close. Um, yeah, the same model from Wiz, but it's in Cool Ranch, and you basically save her from this random, like, frog bandit. It, it, it's a funny quest. It's a good quest, so, yeah. And it's mainline, which is interesting, so, yeah. Okay, next is a huge one. Unused promotions. I'm not going to go through all of them. Watch the Atmoplex. I can't support Atmoplex because I'm an extra credits creator, but watch the Atmoplex. I cond- cond- condone leaking. I keep I keep saying this, but watch the Atmoplex's unreleased campaigns video. It is so cool. There's so many new different campaigns that they just haven't used yet, and I really hope they use it in the next update. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. So, yeah, let's get on to the next one because I'm not going to describe any. There's probably, like, Hockey Lees, and then I think there's some more. I don't remember exactly. i got to watch up on that, but I'll give you a picture of uh, probably a few of them because they're pretty cool. So, yeah. Okay, um, this one I didn't really understand. Two Sinbads. So, apparently, there are two Sinbads, one with a, what does it say? One with a white coat and the other with an orange coat. One is evil, but we don't know which one. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done enough Sinbad to, to know that. I, I don't know. Also, I almost forgot, shout out Johnny, okay? This makes no sense to anyone except for Johnny. He um, messaged me on Discord and was like, yo, are you just Fang? And I'm like, yeah. And then we were like, yeah. And then he's like, you know, the crystal thing is brought up again in Sinbad Part 3. And I'm like, no way. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, cool. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to check that out at some point. But shout out to you because I said I'd give you a shout out. On to the next one. Okay, this one was like really confusing until I just looked at Clock's explanation. 49329 is the default number when a rental mount or when you go into a team up uh, if the counter is glitched. So basically you'd have on a rental mount or I guess and a team up you'd have was it 49,329 days and I mean it'd be cool if you could glitch a rental mount cuz that's a that's a lot of days. <laughs> that's more days than I've lived. Oh yeah, it's got to be. No no way it's not. That's 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 a lot of days. I'm not about to do the calculations in my head right now, but it, yeah, no that that's no, that's like more than a lifetime, right? Maybe. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I'll do some calculations on the screen right now. Um, I really should look these things up before, but yeah. So that's the default number. Okay, so next is interesting. Uh, Gracie Conrad in Wizard 101. Gracie Conrad is a uh, in Part 101 is a companion, and she's pretty cool. It's in Marleybone, and she can like, she gives you summon Gollum, and you can blow up things with her mind. Very cool companion. Um, she's also in Celestia in Wizard 101, but. She's named the same thing, but she has Edith, or, yeah, they have completely different appearances with the NPC of Edith Benchley in, in Celestia being the texture of Gracie in Pirate 101. So I guess the original Gracie has a different texture in Wiz. I don't know who came first. Who did come first? Cause Celestia was a little bit later, but I don't know how much later. I Probably the Wiz one, but, yeah, because Marleybone is way later. Yeah. Okay, next is Pillow Fight. Now... If you don't know, I, I swear, when I'm just, like, questing, or maybe if I'm buying packs, I don't remember exactly, you just get so many pillows. And apparently, the community decided, since you get so many pillows, they decided to see how many they could collect. So it's not a pil- pillow fight in the sense you're fighting with pillows. It's basically, like, a who can collect the most pillows, and that's awesome to me. I don't know when this happened or if it's still going on, but it's really cool. Okay, so we're down to the wire. We got we got a few left. Uh, uh, flip my page. Um... So about about a quarter of a page left. So let, let let's get through this. If you if you're enjoying watching, I like to ask during the middle of the video. I usually don't ask. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. You know it helps me out a lot. And comment down below uh, what you think the new area is going to be in Power One. I'm just going to say this real quick. Uh, they're saying it's going to be starting with level uh, letter T. So let me know what you think. If you haven't answered in my old, other video, um, let me know now because it's it's going to be interesting. I'm so excited to see the update. Okay, let's get on to the next the next one. Obviously. Okay, so the next one is the scrapped smugglers arena music. 
Now it should be playing right now because I'm I'm definitely editing this video. I can't just keep in everything, every every cough and whatever. So uh, it's on the Ammoplexus channel again. I do not I can I do not condone leaking. I can't I can't. But I love the Ammoplex. I love the Ammoplex. So listen to it if you want to. It's in the background. Um, and it's just basically not unused Smuggler's Arena music. Okay, so the next one, apparently, Hooktail used to not give you the monkeys and ship. If you didn't know, uh, when you're questing, uh, I think it's it's got to be right after Monkeysta, right after you go like look at the map and whatever and figure out that stuff. You go back to Hooktail, and he's like, I can get you a ship to go to, uh, it's got to be Valencia, right? Or Avernus, whatever. But he's like, I'll give you a ship. So he used to just not give you a ship. And, I mean, the ship is fine. And I feel like it kind of keeps progression going if you don't buy a ship. But then I end up buying a ship in Cool Ranch anyway, so I feel like it was kind of unneeded. But, like, I guess he didn't used to give it. Yippee. <laughs> okay, so Music Players is a feature from Wiz being ported to Part 101. I have a music player in my Storm Wizard, and I have it exclusively playing Part 101 music, which I love because I just step in my house and it's just Part 101, but it's not Part 101. Man, I love Wizard 101 and Part 101's, like, ecosystem. It's such a fun thing. Like, they're kind of distant, but they're also, like... They're just, it's a fun time. So it looks like it's being ported. It's going to be pretty cool. I don't know if it's actively, I mean, I said being. Um, so we'll see. Maybe it will come out. Maybe it's maybe it's already out and I just don't know. <laughs> okay, the next one is the revolutionary fort stocking. I I wrote revolu revolutionary four stocking, which doesn't make any sense. So I think it's revolutionary, revolutionary fort stocking. Because in the revo revolution, well, I cannot say that word. In the revolutionary fort, a red stocking can be seen attached to a tree during Yuletide season. Why? Why would you care about that? I don't know. That's up to you because that seems really random. Maybe it has something to do with something, but it's just cool that it's on there. Yippee! I keep saying yippee a lot. That's that's weird. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, next one is the Dragon Spire Island. Um, there's an island. Uh, I think it's on the map. It might not be in the real game, but there's an island that's shown in Avernus Skyway. And it's like, can we go to Dragonspire? I mean, like, I don't really want to go to Dragonspire because Dragonspire is kind of boring. I'd rather go to a Polaris or a Krakatopia. I don't know. But it's there, and we just can't go to it. Unless they're talking about the island for the... Is there even... Is that an island for the old Scratch promotion? It might be, but I remember collecting Doom Shards and then going somewhere else, so... I do not know. I don't remember. I probably should remember, but I haven't done an old scratch promotion in a long time. But yeah, let's get on to the next one. Ha! Oh, this is a good one. Minotaur Speed. I remember, I didn't use this glitch, but I remember people like while we were teamed up would use it and it would actually be really convenient. Um, so there was a glitch where the Minotaur, when the Minotaur crits, it speeds up the entire fight. So we would be like, this, I think this even happened just like randomly. Like when I actually well, I'm not backslide, but I would hit the doubloon to summon an Aquila guy, and then just the Minotaur crits, and it would just go super fast. I don't know if this is patched. Uh, it might not be, which is pretty funny to me, but it's a it's a cool glitch. Next, this one's really weird because, well, let me just say the word so I can get the title on the screen. The next is RGB dying. So basically, I was in because we got our extra credits badges, which is actually the next <laughs> the next entry sort of. Um, and I was in Wiz, and then we were, me and, like, a few people, uh, after they figured out I was a YouTuber or whatever, um, were talking, and they're like, yeah, I really want RGB, uh, dying, and I'm like, yeah, I can't, like, bring it up with King's Island. I mean, I guess I can, because I'm in, like, the extra credits thing, and, you know, I could contact the developers if I want, but I, I can't just, like, implement that, <laughs> like, I'm not a dev, but, uh, people really want, uh, RGB dying, so then you can, like, I mean, especially for, like, pink for boys, um, I think in Pirate you can have a sort of pink for boys, but in... Yeah, you should be able to, but in Wiz, there's no pink for boys, which kind of goofy. I'm not even going to lie. Who who doesn't love pink, you know? But yeah, on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is the Quartermaster Badge. So, in Pirate, there's the Quartermaster Badge, which is the Content Creator Badge. And then in Wiz, there's the professor, Professor's Assistant Badge, which is the Content Creator Badge. I've only gotten the Wiz one because they haven't implemented the Part 101 yet. So, it's like they did a bunch of meetings. This is like... like as an extra credits creator, I can, like, give insight to this because I've been doing it. So, Professor's Assistant, they made us line up, and we all, like, one by one got in, and it was such a goofy thing because they, they gave us the badge, and then we would, like, relog and it would be gone, but then it, would, it turns out it was only our default badge or whatever, so when you hit no title, then that's where it is. But 
They implemented it in Pi- or in Wiz, but of course, since it's Pirate, they're having trouble and they're not implementing it yet. But I'd I'd love I'd love to get it into Pirate because I can just like be on. I want to I want to get on Stormy Sam because it's actually they only let us do one character for some reason, not account for some reason. But I want to get on Stormy Sam just kind of be like, hey guys, <laughs> I'm a YouTuber because it's cool and I love Pirate 101 and I think it'd be cool uh, to get an exclusive badge. So that's just me. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, second to last is r slash place. So apparently, in April of 2022, r slash place, by the way, if you don't know, is like where you place little tiles on uh, Reddit. And it happens usually, I I swear it's like once a year, but maybe it would only happen like 2022, 2023. But it basically, you just place it, and Wizard 101 and Pyro 101 community, uh, you know, came through and actually made one for that, which is just super cool how niche our community is. I mean, Wiz is less niche, but it's cool that we would ma- that they made it. Um... Speaking of r slash plays, uh, I remember helping the uh, the Mich- Mich- I'm a Michigan fan, um, the Michigan Wolverines like little place, and I always remember putting the blue down, and it was it's a fun time. R slash place is cool. Okay, last, but actually pretty least, I don't I don't know this one. This one's okay. Is the retired housing items? So uh, I have a few things. I have the windmill, the is that say sixth? No, that says eighth anniversary code items and the Veterans Day items. So all those are discontinued. Uh, they're not using anymore. They're not reselling them or re-putting them in codes. So, yeah, that's the last one. That That's all I have. Um, These are really niche, but I think next time we're going to get more into the in-depth of, like, unreleased stuff and more, like, suspicious stuff. I haven't actually looked at any of them yet, and I still need to write the script. So expect that in a, a, enough time because I have another video that hasn't gone out yet, and that's going to go out after this one, I think it matters how long I'm gonna t- if I'm gonna edit this right now, which I kind of don't want to do. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But really, that's it for t- for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. I completely forgot to say that. I appreciate it. If you're still watching, obviously you've probably subscribed. I really, really appreciate you, and I appreciate everyone who's been watching. Uh, it, it, it's it's such a weird experience having people view my channel, and it, it, it's awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.